For any given project to be successful, you need resources in place to execute on the plan. Anything from equipment and workspace to the people who will complete the project tasks can be referred to as resources. This is Lisa. She's a human resource. In your project plan, you can refer to your work resources by name or by generic labels, depending on your needs. If you have three resources of the same type that you'll be using throughout a project, you can create one resource for all three of them and set the max units to 300%. It's also easy to keep track of cost resources associated with the task, such as travel expenses or other relevant stuff, like lunch. Budget resources or material resources measure how many units of a given resource type are being used. For example, you may have a task that requires carpet as a material. If you purchase carpet by the square foot, you can create material resource for the carpet and set its units of measure to square foot. You can also enter the cost per unit so that Microsoft Project can calculate the estimated cost per task. The resource sheet shows you all of the resources that you've defined for your project and all of the pertinent information for each. No matter the task, completing it is easy work if you have the right tools and resources for the job.